Hey, this is Keith from 3 Day RV. This spring, we recently upgraded a few things to our travel trailer that we wanted to share with you. If you follow us, you know that we've put a basic solar system on the roof, some lithium batteries in the front bay. We put an inverter, a really small system, a very simple system, and we wanted to be able to do a little off-grid camping. And we've done just that. Um, but recently, we've discovered that we fall short sometimes if it's not a perfect sunny day. And so this spring we upgraded and we added a few extra things, a deployable solar panel. And we also put in a new charge controller with a side port so we could easily fold this panel out, plug it in, and it adds to our total power capacity at the end of the day. So let's show you what we got. So a little over a year ago, we took our rig and we put five 200 watt nine bus bar solar panels on the top. And for the most part, it works pretty good. But if the sun's not right on top, well, you're not getting full capability out of those solar panels. And this was the need for the deployable panel. So we added a separate charge controller and plugged the solar panel in. And it works great with our three Renogy batteries. And some of the equipment we have that we installed over a year and a half ago was the, the wireless uh, Bluetooth shunt. We got a regular battery shunt in there. We have the uh, one core device. Here's a shot of our panel with our two smaller charge controllers. We have a split system on the roof. Here's a shot of our inverter. It's the 3000 watt inverter slash charger, really solid um, workhorse. And then in the background, you can see the three 200 amp hour batteries. Had great luck, no failures for a whole year, close to 9,000 miles of travel. We've had no, no trouble at all. And it's taken to some really good places. We've been all over the place, out to Yellowstone, the Grand Teton, Scotts Bluff, the Black Hills, Custer State Park in South Dakota. Uh, just so many things. I couldn't add them all up. I know I'm, I'm not doing the video justice by trying to tell you all the different places, but the, the off-grid system we put on here made this possible because half of the time we spent camping in places such as Grand Tetons. There are many places you can do dry camping, free BLM property camping. So... This made it possible and, and nobody wants to hear a generator running, but some people have them. We're hearing more and more that some of these parks are putting in no generator sections in the national parks. So check that out before you go if you are going to go hit some national parks. But uh, this took us all around the country and uh, we're real happy to put this Renogy system in because it, it opened the door for travel for us um, with our uh, DC to DC charger. Pretty much after a four-hour travel day, every place we arrived at, we had a full battery bank, and we just didn't have to rustle a generator out, put gas in it, get the cords. We didn't have to do any of that stuff. So it's a real blessing putting this little system together. So because we went dry camping, we were able to go see some other places and we saved money on camping costs that offset the cost of the fuel. So it was win-win. One of the coolest places was uh, seeing Old Faithful. My favorite place certainly was around that, the uh, Wall, South Dakota and uh, Custer, South Dakota. Those places are just phenomenal. I can't say enough of good stuff. Friendly people, great places to camp. The wildlife is tremendous. So here's a shot of our actual charge controller we added. It's a 80 amp rover. We put a convenient side port so we could quickly and easily plug in our, our deployable solar panels into this port and it instantly starts charging. This is the panels that we ended up getting. It's the 400 watt Renogy. And uh, here's an example of how this sets up and how quick it is. Um, this was shot in uh, 8 3 of 24 in Martin, Michigan. We went in a uh, dry camping at the uh, Northern Nationals race, and it's something I really like to do. And I don't like to carry a generator and gasoline around, and I don't like hearing that noise. And so uh, it was 88 degrees, and we needed a little bit of extra power for the air conditioning. and. So I folded these things up, plugged them in, and went back to the races, and everything was taken care of.
So like many of you, when you get a product, you're going to research it a little bit. And if it's got bad reviews and it seems a little bit rough to, uh, to use or it just doesn't make sense to have it, or maybe the cost or the convenience really isn't there, this is a really good deal. This folder panel, solar panel folds up really easy. Um, you, can, you can have it up and running in one minute. Uh, it takes me a little bit longer to fold it up and put it away. It does weigh 37 pounds, but it was well worth it. And uh, we've taken it uh, every place we've went this year. And it's been a blessing to have this. So I wanted to show you the uh, screenshot from Amazon where you can get these. Um, I happen to catch both items on sale, so keep a watchful eye for that. And uh, the goal is to be unplugged and get outdoors. So this is Keith at 3 Day RV, just sharing with you what I did for my Renogy upgrades. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.